Fading Aspect is a returning exotic from Destiny 1. The perk is called Cobra Totemic. Weapons ready and reload very quickly. Melee range is extended. Sounds amazing, right? So let's analyze this perk. First, let's see how fast you ready and reload your weapons. Here's the difference between switching guns with and without this exotic. Now, let's check out the difference between reloading with and without the Ophidian Aspect. As you can see, it's not a huge bump to reload and ready speed. In Destiny 1, the ready speed was pretty much the same thing as the quick drop perk, but here it's slower. Look at the following clip. You'll see how fast I can draw that hand cannon with the quick drop perk on it, comparing it to the better devils. I try to get the handling speed as close as possible for both. Not the exact same handling, but close enough to show you what I mean. It's very easy to see that the one-way quick draw is faster than my better devils without quick draw, but using the Ophidian aspect. Quick draw doesn't stack with this exotic, by the way. The ready speed stays the same. So this exotic gives you a small boost to ready speed, but it's not as good as having quick draw on all weapons. Now let's look at the second part of the perk, which is melee range increase. Either it's bugged or Bungie is just trolling us because there's no range increase at all. Look at the following clip. The distance I had to be from that cabal was exactly the same with and without this exotic. The only other exotic in the game that increases your melee range is the Syntheseps for Titans. Here's the distance you can be from the target and still make the melee connect. That's what I call a melee range increase done correctly. I'm pretty sure it's bugged. There's no reason to write the ability in the perk description without actually giving it to you. Hopefully Bungie will fix this. Now that we know how the perk works, let's talk about PvE. I feel like this exotic is really weak in that mode. Melee range is not increased and being able to ready and reload your weapons a tiny bit faster is not changing much to the game. I don't know about you, but I rarely find myself in situations where reloading a split second faster would save my life in PvE. Same goes for readying my weapons. So in short, I would not recommend this exotic in PvE at all. There's a lot of better options for you out there. Now let's see how this perform in PvP. This is where this exotic shines. At least, shines more than in PvE. It's a good neutral game improvement to have a boost to ready and reload speed for all your weapons, but these are not the stats I go for most of the time anyway. I usually try to get more range or stability on most guns. Also, like I mentioned earlier, the boost is there, but it's not as good as I thought it would be. Don't get me wrong here, this is a good PvP exotic that I will probably be using most of the time, but it's kind of a boring one, like the Eye from Another World is. It gives you a very minimal boost to something without having to do anything. In fact, most PvP exotics are like that. If the ready speed was as fast as the quick drop arc, that would be totally different. It would be so much better, but would make PvP a bit less balanced. Would I recommend this exotic in PvP? Absolutely. But keep in mind that the melee range is not increased, probably bugged right now, and that the ready speed boost is not as good as the quick drop arc. The reload speed is great to have. I think that's the part of the perk that I like the most. Are you going to be 10 times better or get your super faster with this exotic? No, but it will give you some small advantages in certain fields that might help you win some more gunfights. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leaving a like would be appreciated. You can also subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.